Oh, hey guys. I'm just filming now. <laughs> Hi guys. I hope you have a wonderful Friday. Okay, I'm just starting to film now and it's going to work. You believe that, people? Uh, it <laughs> is 1 o'clock in the afternoon. And all she's been doing is telling me to get up and get the chicken house ready. And you know what, people? I got up at 12 o'clock today because my lazy butt was so tired from the heat not at work. So anyways, I got my lazy butt out of there at 12 o'clock, and I got it all done. So now those babies are going in. If they don't go in, there's only one place, people, there's only one person to blame. <laughs> Mimi Michelle. I'm going to miss something here, though, at people, night. People, <laughs> if I need intervention, please help. Okay. And I hope you have a wonderful Friday. Anyways, I've been cleaning. I got all the house cleaned up. She did this yesterday. No, I didn't. I know. I just like I'm uh, filling up the doggy treats. Oh, yeah. I'm going to make a nice recipe with you guys today. What is it? It's a surprise. <laughs> He's gremlin. Taco Bell! He's <laughs> looking for mama. I'm right here, honey. Where's my mama? Where's my mama? Oh, cookie. You better not take my cookie. <laughs> oh, cookie! <laughs> hey, here comes Papa. Hey, a piece of bacon's jam. <laughs> Give me. Ah! Whoa! <laughs> ah! Look! Put one of my fingers. Give me my finger. Okay, guys, my meat is in the fridge, but I'm gonna cook up an onion in my three peppers. They're not hot. They're from our garden. <laughs> Basically, my chili just consists of that. And I like to put some beef broth in. And this is the tomato I like to use. I don't like chunky, chunky tomatoes. I don't. In my, in my chili. And then I like to use um, those beans. I don't like uh, the hard kidney beans. I don't like them. They're too hard. I, don't, I Just when I bite into them, I don't like them. I'm going to use my handy thing I got at the uh, at the uh, thrift store. I love this. <laughs> Even though it's cracked, it's all cracked up, but um, I'm thinking of ordering one of them online. I only paid $3. I was going to bring it back, but I thought, ah. What's wrong with you? you want, oh, you want to say hi? Okay. Say hi. Oh, you want to get down? Okay. Hang on. Hang on, Bobby. <coughs> Hang on a minute. Okay, before we were interrupted by Coco, <laughs> I really, really like that chopper. Yeah, so I might order one online. And then I have all my spices. And uh, I'll show you what I'm going to do with this chili. We're going to do something special with it. So it's not just your boring chili. No, we're stepping it up a notch and making a nice recipe for you guys. So hang on to your hat. And let's get started. Okay, so I have uh, two tablespoons of, of butter in there. And I'm going to put a little bit of vegetable oil. About a tablespoon. And we're going to fry up our onions and peppers. We're going to saute them. Okay, we're gonna add the meat in now. I got a little, I got about probably two pounds in here, but I'm gonna take half of it out after I cook it. I'm gonna freeze it up for um, the sloppy joes. Look at that. You wrap your meat in press and seal, it'll never be frostbit. <laughs> no. Okay, so I'm gonna go cook this meat up. We'll break it down first, and then we'll add some spices. Okay, I got salt, pepper, uh, basically this all uh, all purpose seasoning. I'm gonna put Italian a little bit and garlic basically oh, a little bit of onion powder and basically most of garlic 
just put whatever spices you want at this point. Okay, I, I say you add your own spices because we all have our own spices, right? Okay, I'm going to add a little bit of Worcester sauce. There, that's about maybe a tablespoon and a half. Okay. Okay, so I took half of it out for Sloppy Joe's. I'll throw that in the freezer. I almost forgot. <laughs> and I almost added my chili powder pack. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm going to add the chili pack. Let's see how much one does. I might add another one. I think that will be enough and I'll add some some from the spice jar too. No, I think I'm just going to add both packages. <laughs> oh, I can never make up my mind. How's everyone doing today? Huh? Okay, they're done both in. <laughs> there we go. Now I'm going to add some chicken, uh, not chicken, beef broth. And I put a little bit of, spoonful of uh, boulin in the so in the beef broth. Because you know me, I think the beef, the beef broth tastes like water. So I added a little bit of boulin into my beef broth. Okay, we're just gonna mix that up a little bit. Let that simmer for a few minutes. Okay, I'm gonna add my tomato sauce. I don't know if I'm gonna add all this. Let's see. Come on, come on out. Okay, maybe a little more. Oops. Okay. <laughs> then I'm gonna add my my bush beans. You can go right ahead and add kidney beans if you want. I'm not a fan, like I said, of kidney beans. I like my soft little beans. <laughs> okay. Now this isn't in the, this isn't, this is, this is a piece of cheese, a Velveeta cheese I have in my fridge. I want to use it up. So I'm just going to throw that in there. You don't have to throw Velveeta cheese in there. I just, it's just sitting in my fridge and I wanted to use it, use it up. Okay. We're going to simmer this. I'm going to throw my corn in too now, I guess. Might as well throw everything in. Uh, that's all I got left to put in. And I'm going to throw about a cup, over a cup of corn in. Okay. See how this does, and if I need to add some more tomato sauce, I will. Basically, I like just a simple chili. I don't like to overdo it. Okay. I'm going to add some hot sauce. I forgot. <laughs> I just like the Frank's hot sauce. Just a little bit. There we go. Okay, for my special recipe, you're going to need hot dogs. So I'm going to cook up some hot dogs. And I got my chili over there sim simmering on the other burner. Well, we'll need hot dogs, so. Like I said, oh. make sure you get pick up hot dogs and hot dog buns. Okay. We have the hot dogs done. The chili done. We're going to put it all together and I'll show you what we're going to do. But let's have a break. 
and go try our popcorn. Okay, let's give it a try, you guys. Just ripped it open. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I noticed about this popcorn. They had three different flavors. Mm, that's good. Mm. It's fully loaded like with the stuff. <laughs> it's not half loaded. I think they had caramel and cheese. Candy, cotton candy. I can't remember the other kind. Mm hmm. That's good stuff. I'm going to go have a little bit and have a little break. Then we'll get back in the kitchen, you guys. Mm hmm. Okay, guys. So, what you're going to do, I'm only doing three, but you can do like a whole tray of this. If you wanted to, if you have a lot enough people, there's only me and Bruce, so I'm only doing three. I try to downsize everything into smaller for two people. You're gonna cut around the hot dog, and then you're gonna push it in. Okay. I'm gonna go do the other two, and I will be back. Okay, in a little bowl, you're going to put some butter, and I'm going to put some garlic in there, and some parsley flakes. Okay, we're going to mix that up. Okay, you're going to take your butter garlic here, and you're going to coat your buns. Really good. Okay. Okay. Next, you're going to take cheese slices and put them in like that in each bun. Like you could do 10 hot dogs if you're having a gang over. Like I said, they're just me and Bruce eating this, so I try to cut things way down to fit us so we're not having a ton of them. Okay, and then you're going to put your hot dog. Okay, make sure it gets down in there. Then your chili on top. That's Nate's chicken in the oven. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to go cover these with chili and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm going to put um, onions, crispy uh, fried onions on top. You don't have to do that if you don't want to, but I'm going to. We're going to get this in the oven. We're going to get this in the oven for 20 minutes at 350. It might need a little longer. Or a little less but I'm pretty sure I'm going to do 20. I'm going to start with 20 minutes at 350. Okay so I have three going in the oven. I have four here. I thought oh, I'm going to make a few more. Bruce's brother always stops by on a Saturday. Those two might like some of these. A couple of them at lunchtime tomorrow. So 
I did that and then I got this big bowl of chili to freeze and that you guys are asking for frugal meals this is pretty frugal you know what I mean you, you can get a big bowl of chili you can get dinner I got fries in the oven I'm on the side I'm gonna have fries but give it a try you guys we're gonna give it a try when it comes out of the oven and I'll show you guys and uh, I still have to show you um, I'm gonna make some uh, Kool-Aid frost um, a Kool-Aid frosty like yeah slurpy and I still gonna make you a dessert I think I'm gonna make the dessert too and don't forget to put the pound of meat we froze for um, sloppy joes later on next week We'll make sloppy joes with it. That is a lot out of that little two pounds of ground beef. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let's get dinner. I'm starving. Okay. For the Kool-Aid slushy, we're going to have one and a half cups of cold water. So I'm going to go fill this up. Okay. To that, you're going to add one cup of sugar. And you're just going to mix it until it dissolves. Most of it anyways. It doesn't all have to be dissolved, but the best you can. Okay. We're going to add this to our blender. I want to get all that sugar out of there. <laughs> Okay, pick your Kool-Aid pack. Nate picked shark berry. Shark berry fin. Can you see that? Shark berry fin. Okay. I'm gonna put that in there. And we're gonna add three to four cups of ice. Okay, we're gonna add this to our blender. I want to get all that sugar out of there. <laughs> okay. Pick your Kool-Aid pack. Nate picked shark berry. Shark berry fin. Can you see that? Shark berry fin. Okay. I'm going to put that in there. And we're going to add three to four cups of ice. Okay, here we go. Okay. You really want to have a good blender for this. I had a, a crappy blender. It worked, but it took forever to get that ice going. Okay, then we're going to put it on frozen drink or snow cone. Let's go frozen drink. Oh, I see. It doesn't. No hands. There we go. Is that the coolest or what? Okay, so I wet my glass. I wet it with water and I put it in the freezer. Okay. So now. This is. <laughs> this is amazing. I've always struggled with frozen drinks, but not anymore. Look at that, you guys. <laughs> Look at that. I'm going to put the lid on, and we're going to plate up our, our dinner. 
Okay, so we're gonna do this on oops, uh, paper plate. What color should we use? Let's go with green. Make it fancy, you guys. These are from the dollar store. Okay. Okay, it's out of the oven. I'm just going to cut it. Mine went 15 minutes, but I only had three. You know what I mean? Like, you got to keep an eye on it. You don't want your, you don't want your bread to burn. Okay, let's place that there. And put our fries on. That's what I like to... Easy recipes. <laughs> okay. Let's go give this a taste and see what we think. Okay, guys. What's wrong with you, Cuckoo? Okay. Let's give this a try. This is magnificent. Buy yourself that Ninja Blender. You won't regret it. Mm. Oh, that's magnificent. This is summertime. <laughs> okay. Please, Coco, stop. Stop. Okay, we're going to give this a try. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. I don't... I'm not professional here. And I have an old dog. Come here. Stop. Okay. Let's give it a try. I realize she's barfing at my hot dog. That, you guys, is magnificent. It's what a treat. Summertime cooking, made easy. Sounds delicious. Absolutely amazing. I'm gonna go enjoy my dinner. And then we're going to make an easy dessert. <sighs> Two thumbs up on this. Mm -hmm. Okay, you guys, this next recipe is real easy. It's called cookie batter Oreo brownies. <laughs> so you can get... I, I had a box of the cookie mix, so I made my own cookie dough. But you can get the stuff right frozen, like right in the tube, you know, of the cookie dough. A uh, box of brownie mix and some Oreo cookies. Now I'm going to use the peanut butter pie ones, but you can use any kind you want. You can use the regular ones. So what I'm going to do is put this layer of cookie dough into the pan first. Okay, so I have the the cookie dough laid in there. Next, we're going to layer it with Oreos. Okay, I'll be back when I get it all layered up. Okay, so I'm going to get this in the oven at 350 for about 25 minutes. Cook it until the brownie is done. And then it'll be ready. Three simple steps. Okay guys, there it is. Let's give this a try. Okay.
Mm. Not bad. The cookie becomes soft, so in case you are wondering. <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> good night, everyone.